Hello, hello, and welcome to another Ganon Chord JMU crew battle. Actually, it's been a while since we did one of these for Ganon Chord. I usually do these for uh, Me Brawler Chord, and uh, I think the last one we did was Ganon's versus the Robs. Uh, one second, let me type up all I need to type into the... Uh, into the uh, Discord we got going on here. Hello, Elf King. Hello, Misty. This is anxiety music. This is going to be stressful after listening to it for long enough. Maybe I made a poor choice of music track. Uh, sorry for the delayed start. I realized at the last possible second that I completely forgot to make an overlay for this, uh, for this crew battle. You'll notice I put one together that you can't, shouldn't even tell the difference. I may have uh, I may have reused some assets, but uh, we've got, as you can tell by the score, we got a uh, pretty sizable, pretty sizable crew battle. Uh, I've actually been campaigning this for. Uh, I've been campaigning for this for quite a while because uh, Ganon Cord fought the Sorties and they fought the Brawlers, and we never got around to Gunners. And me, Gunner Cord is. It's got lots of people in it that's just kind of quiet. There's a lot of lurkers in Gunner Cord, but. You tell them we're having a JMU, and they all come out of the woodworks. We've had a good turnout for this week. Hello, Wolko. Oh, we're starting right away. Alright, well, let's just get into it then. We're starting with Wolko next, the Me Gunner, versus Ganondorf, the Ganon. Wolko. Being a gentleman, showing off his specials. Not required because the Gunners have announced them when they sign up, but... Alright, first match underway. As expected, Woko playing keep away with Flame Pillar. Charge Pillar, Charge Blast, and uh, Fair. Lunar Launch is a little unusual for me, Gunners. Not, uh, not unheard of. Ganondorf playing very defensively. Trying to approach uh, slowly and cautiously, as one needs to, to uh, some degree. Playing neutral on the Ganon side of this matchup is, as Elf King puts it, kind of exhausting. Woka with an up, uh, up smash and an up air, neither quite kills. Ledge Trap with the Bomb Drop into Gunner Down Smash takes Douth's first stock. And 
hit another ledge trap. This is a this is also a frustrating matchup for Ganondorf because he has a very safe ledge hang, and so oftentimes the ledge is a pretty safe place for Ganondorf. Not in this matchup. Ooh, out of grab range. Up smash still doesn't quite kill. Up tilt doesn't kill. Dolph, you gotta get one. I believe... Ooh. Lunar Launch gets a kill. It's a high co high committal... High commitment ledge guard. Plain old Nair from Ganondorf takes a stock off Woko. That's the Ganon special. <laughs> Back to ledge D smash. From me, Gunner takes Ganon's final stock. Okay. Alright. So that is one off of the Gunners. And three off of the Ganons to start with. I myself play both characters. My Ganon is much better. However, in this particular matchup, I don't think I want to be on the Ganon side. So I, uh, I I'm on the, uh, I'm on the Gunner team. Also because I figured we wouldn't have uh, quite as many Gunner signups. So. I don't know if we're going to have any other gunners using Flame Pillar. That's also uh, a little unusual for uh, me gunners. Competitive gunners, I should say. I know all of the uh, all of the flame moves, all the PK fire likes behave a little bit differently. And I always forget which is which. Flame Pillar, as we saw, does not activate when it hits a shield. Which one does? Robin's activates on shield, doesn't it? Robin's does, okay. And then there's also, uh... Then there's the Belmonts, with their uh, Holy Water, which is a projectile, so it's a little bit different. Well, it's an item, so it's a little bit different, but... Uh... Boy, I faced a Belmont the other day online that had the uh, the perfect ledge distance for, uh, for two-framing as Ganon. That wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy that. How are you all today? What have your days been like? I don't know that I've ever showed off my gunners. Let me pull them up. I only ever really play the one build, to be honest. I only ever use a Bomberman here. But I also have a Spamus. A couple others I never use. Sans. Gandam. I like Gandam. Yeah, I guess I just have the costumes. Gunner's got a lot of great costumes. Gunner got all the good ones. So I just, I put those to use. Man, when are we getting the uh, when are we getting the enchanted portal skin for me, Gunner? Is that gonna be the next Smash game? That was a train wreck of a game. Uh, Cuphead like.
Cuphead clone. I heard about another one recently, but I, I don't remember the name of it. There seem to be a lot of uh, a lot of Cuphead copycats. Getting Mario Luigi the Ganon joining us. That's not confusing. There he is. And his icon is Roy. He plays Ganon, his name is Mario Luigi, and his icon is Roy. In a surprise turn of events, we've had a uh, we've had a lack of Ganons on this. I think a lot of the Smash chords are just uh, you know it's late 2023. I think Smash fatigue is setting in. A lot of players, a lot of a lot of Smash chord moderators are just kind of sick of Smash at this point. It is. It's 2023. Crazy, right? Elf was uh, not in the mood to play today, but he uh, put himself on the Ganon side just to fill out the players. It sounds like uh, Ray will be joining us, so we may be able to replace Elf with Raycom. Hello, Carlos. Ready? 2024 is the year of the Ganon. That's right. We're going to find some am amazing new tech that no one knows about. And he's going to be good. All right. Mario Luigi the Ganon versus Woko next, the gunner. Woko will immediately remove one stock. Woko? I was showing off moves, and there he goes. All right, and begin. I don't recognize Mario Luigi. I don't know if I've ever met this Ganon. Immediate fair and bomb drop oppression. Woko keeping his distance. Maybe a redund redundant thing to say about me gunners. Some some me gunners are more uh, more prone to approach than others, even if it's a little antithetical to the character. Woko racking up damage. Mario Luigi just cannot get in. As this neutral goes, Woko with another attempted lunar launch punish. Mario Luigi stays in the game. Ooh, up smash. That is enough to kill one more stock off the Ganons. Matchup is really bad online. It is. It's not great offline, but uh, on online, definitely the, the limited reaction times makes this a lot harder than it even then would be. Hmm goes for a big F-Smash punish. Woko calls it out with ledge attack. Oh, that looked like a miss input. Oh, no! Online moment. That is a stock off of Woko. I'm kind of surprised that he keeps going for Lunar Launch. Just plain old Gunner Nair is already so free on Ganon's recovery. So many free whiz kicks. Yeah, he's not getting punished for it very much. Ooh, 
right neutral getup into Gunner F Smash. Another stock off Mario Luigi. Woko is taking stocks. There's the Flame Pillar into Charge Blast. A little gun dashing. Mario Luigi does not seem to want to pursue Gunner. Oh no! Oh, missed the ledge grab because of an air dodge. That's three more off the Ganons and one more off the Gunners. Ooh, this is a this is a very rough start. Glad I'm on the Gunners team. Welcome next, Banning, Smashville, Final Destination, Hollow, Hollow Bastion. If Ganon can get into advantage state, then he can he can carry it pretty decently. Gunner does not have great get off me options. Somewhat common knowledge, but uh that's the if, yeah. Th this whole this whole situation relies on Ganon winning neutral, which good luck with that. see a clip in chat. Give me a boot chat back up. I, I, I take it off the screen during uh, during matches so we have a clean footage is what I like to do. Clean footage with if, if you ignore brawler with a gun at the top of the screen it's clean footage. I also completely forgot that I used the stupid nose image of Ganondorf for the Ganon side. We have two joke two joke icons at the top of the screen. I'm so used to nose Ganon, it didn't even occur to me. There he is, there's Lonk. Lonk the hero. Grenade launch might be one of the cringest moves in the game. Yeah, it's hard to argue. It carries. It's a move that kind of does everything. Alright, next match. Woko next. The Me Gunner versus Lonk the Ganon. We'll go down to one stock. Bonk, what are you doing? There he goes. Bonk, what are you doing? You're staling your warlock punch. Oh, Bonk got a little free charge there. Ooh. Woko with an attempted dare two frame. Bold choice. Goes for an up air shark as well. Hmm. Stif uh, stuffs out. Whiz kick with back air. And his nair gets interrupted. Goes for a very, very ballsy up uh, dark dive. Makes it back to stage. He's not out yet. Down smash. Ganon is spending a lot of time off stage, and there he goes. Alright, that's one sock off of Lonk. Can he take out the menace that is Woko next? Woko, if I recall, plays all three Mies but mains Gunner. Don't quote me on that, I'm not positive. Hmm. 
up air call, jump call out. Lunar launch again. He keeps doing it. It just keeps working. Okay, Lonk makes it back to stage. He's, do he's, he's doing the things that I would do. I would go for those ballsy dark dives. Now does not seem like the time to take risks. Ooh, that up air off screen for another kill. Lunar launch projectile secretly good. It's pretty huge. The only reason I don't care for it is that it sends you so high in the air that you have to you're in such a disadvantage. And there he goes, another plain old boring nair. That's how you do it. You just you, you play neutral boring. You get stocks, eventually. We have finally removed the menace of Wokonex. But it cost Lonk two of his stocks. The score is now 10 to 15. Favoring Brawler with a gun. Weird spot to put your anchor, says Veronica. You know what's funny? When we uh, when we fought the other two Mies, all of Ganon Cord was just like making fun of Gunner, like, "Oh, they're they're not that bad. Even matchup, it's easy." There's still one or two naysayers who say it's an even matchup. Mad lads. No plus threes. Arguable. I don't know. What, what's Ganon's worst matchup anymore? Is it still Min Min? Alright, next match. Lonk, the Ganondorf, with one stock remaining, versus Bulbaquaza, the Mi Gunner. Rocking a uh, much more common moveset of, uh, looks like, charge blast and missiles? I didn't see his neutral special, but uh, Arm Rocket is the uh, most common up special for me gunners, similar to uh, Diddy's Jetpack, minus the weaknesses of Diddy's Jetpack. Bonk gets a free up smash, whiffs the F smash, he's going for a lot of big moves. I think he's getting antsy, and it's hard not to against me, Gunner. Bulba trying to build distance again. Ooh, detailed. Bonk avoids the charge blast. That definitely would have killed. Bulba with an up tilt. Kill screens doesn't kill. Super missile. Oh, that's enough, though. He didn't get his jump back. What a piddly way to go. Alright, that is one more off the Ganons. Score is now 9 to 15. Gunner favor.
We are two full players behind. We Ganon Court is two full players behind. Why am I saying we? I'm on the gunner side. I'm on both sides. I don't know if I'm gonna get to play. If if the gunners keep uh, if the gunners keep going through like this. I don't think all the gunner players are gonna get to uh gonna get to join the arena. Veronica insisting in the crew battle chat that she is going to sweep for the Ganons. Is JMU always 6v6? Uh, no, it is depending on how many players that, uh, players that we can get. Usually 5v5 or 6v6 is, uh, is normal. We've had one or two with a low enough turnout that we had to do, uh, 4v4. Don't think we've ever done a 10v10. I don't know if we've gone quite that high. Ready? Yeah, definitely not now. Definitely not in 2023. Alright, well no one has to sacrifice any stocks at the beginning of this one. Hack'em, the Ganon versus Bulbaquaza. Bulbaquaza, the me gunner. Back him, immediately closing the distance. That up smash is deceptively large. Mmm, goes for an F smash punish. Bulba rolls just far enough, but... Oh, what was that? I missed what happened. Did he, did he miss input? Hmm, another up smash. Packham still alive, hasn't gotten KO'd yet. Is that it? Not quite. The up smash is stale now. Ooh, there he goes. Baits out the up smash. Eats a charge blast. Still not dead yet. And that's it. Whiz kick clanks with the super missile. I think there was some testing just before the uh, the crew battle. Needs to be like super missile needs to be like fully sailed in order for a fresh whiz kick to be able to go through it. Realistically, it's just not never going to happen. Mm. Eats a bomb drop. Avoids the fair. Still alive. Still in the game. Can tack him. Take another stock. And there's another up smash. Taking another stock off of Tackham. Definitely more willing to uh, more willing to pursue off stage than pre than previous cannons have been. Ooh, Nair. Packham struggling to get back in again. Bulba has gotten the distance necessary. Up tilt. Dodges the up air. Bulba throwing out moves. Wants that stock. Mm, if either of them get a good hit. Okay, there's another stock off of Bulba.
Back him with the edge guard. Not enough to not enough to finish. Me gunner dash attack takes the final stock. That is three more off of the Ganons. And two off of the Me Gunner Me Gunners. Me Gunners still in double digits. With more than twice the number of stocks that the Ganons have remaining. We are down to our final two Ganons. Other gunners telling Bulba to take at least two stocks. The gunners fear Veronica. guys like the arena I set up. It's a pretty good arena, I think. is picking her stage song. Very important. Ready? All right, Bulba, Bulba Quaza, the Me Gunner versus Veronica the Ganon. Bulba with one stock remaining. Whiz kicks off stage, makes it back. She's still doing okay. If she can get Bulba before she gets got, she'll get a free. Uh, any damage is null. She'll get a free ref refresh. I don't think any Ganons have died to an on-screen up air yet. Done a good job avoiding those. Veronica taking Veronica taking a lot of damage though. Ooh. The tech punish with Ganon up smash on a platform. Veronica takes Bulba's final stock. The sweep begins. She's gonna bring it back for the Ganons. Sounds like Misty Bot will be our next gunner joining.
Veronica banning FD, Town, and Kalos. All very wide stages of the room for Gunner to flee. Sounds like we are going PS2. Oh, but what are you doing? Get out of here. Leave. Next match, Veronica the Ganon versus Mistybot, the Me Gunner, both with full stocks. Score is 6 to 12. Misty rockin' Magikarp. At least I'm pretty sure that's Magikarp. Ooh. Veronica punches Bomb Drop back. That's uh, some aggressive edge guarding. Veronica takes a stock very quickly. It's the Fortnite fish, I see. I, I wouldn't know these things. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a dinosaur. What's Fortnite? Gutsy F Smash gets punished with Ganon's D tilt. That was another greedy F Smash, and there goes a stock for it. I have no business calling anything greedy. I'm terrible at this matchup. The Ganon side. Veronica making her way through the projectiles. Eats a grab, almost eats a D smash. She's still in it. Ooh, a fair. Can she ledge guard Misty Bot? Nope, Misty makes it back. Roll into Gunner F Smash. Thankfully, very slow to kill. Gunner F Smash kills pretty late for an F Smash. Ooh. Ganon Flame Choke into Dash Attack takes another stock off of Misty Bot. Can Veronica get one more without losing another stock? A tall order. Misty is now playing keep away successfully, as is Gunner's goal. Oh, another neutral getup into F Smash. Another stock off of Veronica. She can beat Misty. She might have a good run against the next yeah, against the next gunner, which I hope isn't me. Misty throwing out an F-Smash. Ganon throwing out a whiz kick. Another F-Smash at ledge! Is she trying to hit the ledge hang? Is that what's going on? Again, it gets punished, and that's Veronica's final stock. She took two off the gunners. We are now 
10 to 3. Ray already here, already ready to hop in. Well, it's easy. Ray just needs to take 10 stocks. This, see, this, this happens a lot in recent Ganon Cord crew battles. Unfortunately, we end up doing not so great, and then it, it just it falls to the anchor, which is usually Ray, to try to have some, like, god run. And it's, 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 no, it's not gonna happen. I, I believe in you, Ray. You can do it. Sixty nine percent. Was that what it KO'd at, or was that just a percentage that happened to be at some point in the match? Gunner's up smash is deceptively powerful and also deceptively large and also long lasting. And it hits more than Samus's does because she's shorter, it's closer to the ground. Misty was at 69% when the match ended. Oh, okay. Why well, gotta have all the long range, long duration move? The long duration is a double edged sword because it makes the moves, you know, punishable. If you just throw it out, then you get. You just. You, you eat it for just throwing out an F smash. Alright. Ray Calm, the Ganon, versus Misty Bot, the Gunner, who is definitely a Magikarp. I have no idea how much experience Ray has in this matchup. Going for a whiz kick cancel to uh, to a fl aerial flame choke. Interesting choice. We've only seen one or two gunners uh, nair Ganon off stage. That surprises me. Similar to the uh, to the Veronica match, if Ray can get a kill before he loses a stock, all this hundred fifteen percent ain't gonna mean anything. Ledge attack, Misty Bot now at hundred and eight percent. One more good hit would do it. Oh. Both players attacking on shield, just hoping the opponent will drop. They don't. Misty Bot doesn't quite make the nair, uh, the nair punish. And Raycom, with a retreating fair, takes Misty's stock. All right. <laughs> it is now a much more doable three to nine. Look at that. Doesn't that look so achievable? Look, he's shooting the 9. left. There is the anchor, who's M.M. Leo, is our final gunner. There is myself, and there is Meme Gunner.
his meme gunner here. Alright, uh, let's see, Ray is banning PS2 and Kalos and Battlefield. What are the stages? Let's go FD. I like FD. That's not even a character choice. I just like the stage. Alright, well, here goes nothing. <laughs> I... Let me preload my Johns. Gunner is my fourth best character. And I'm fighting Raycom. I will do my best. Yep, just dash attack that shield. Why did I? Okay. I uh, I am one of the uh, rare stealth burst users when it comes to me, Gunner. Why am I approaching? I don't need to be approaching. Oh no! Oh, I did the thing that the Ganon did earlier. I didn't grab the ledge. Maybe I can get one stock. Surely. I have a uh, bad habit of using grenades closer to the opponent than I should. We'll try to avoid that. Gunner has decent normals with uh, fair, and uh, bear is pretty sizable. I'm very bad at rar, though. Why do I keep do- I, Am I playing like Ganon? Do I think I have flame choke? I don't know why I keep pressing side B. Supposed to be an up smash. I don't think it would have connected it regardless. Yeah! Stealth burst. Oh, he went through. I didn't quite get fair out fast enough. Alright, one more stock off of me. He's at 144. I'm sure I can get one. We're now dealing with a rage Ganon, however, which is not great. A little too slow to get that bear off. Ooh, that ain't good. Oh! I really want that up. An up smash would absolutely do it at this point. There we go. Okay, I got a stock. I did what I could. My terrible gunner got a stock off. I'm okay with that. Why 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 did Brawler get the Bomberman skin? Gunner's the one who has all the bombs. Gunner blows all blows everything up. Look, I have all the splody moves on my Bomberman Gunner. Hackam says thank you for purposefully SDing that first stock to show to make me feel better. Anytime. That's what I'm here for, to make other other people feel better. Hello, Cure Ribbon.
Well, on the plus side, if Ray doesn't lose his two stocks to uh, the next gunner, Misty Bot, not not Misty Bot, uh, Meme Gunner, then uh, all the gunners will have gotten to play. Next gunner is apparently going to the bathroom, so, uh... Maybe I should do another match with Ray just for fun. If he starts it, I'll play. That's up to him. We don't need an advertisement. No, no, this is an ad-free stream. Close that. I was going to show you my uh, my world champion Agario abilities. But uh, it sounds like Meme Gunner is back, so... Uh, also wants to go FD. Sounds like we're getting FD again. There they are. Given everything that I am seeing about Meme Gunner on Discord, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that they're playing Sans. I'm going to make that wager. All right. Ray Calm, the Ganon, versus Meme Gunner, the Me Gunner. Ray with two stocks remaining. That's not Sans, who's that? Alright, let's go. If he picked Megalovania intentionally, it'd be a weird coincidence if not. Meme Gunner with abundant gun dashing for movement. Ray with some randy on stage whiz kicks. Showing off grenades, shield stun. Once again, that move does everything. You don't even need to hit it. You can land it on a shield and it's just a free grab. 
An impressive gun dash. A lot of distance on that. Gun dashing, for those unaware, is using uh, the momentum of me gunner's forward air for movement. Ray calm. With a, with a shield break, just hold an up smash. There's a stock off of me gunner. Sorry, meme gunner. Right, snuffing out grenades. That is something often not realized is that they can be uh, they can be hit out of existence. Ooh no! Raycom just misses the ledge. SD's one stock. Full hop, uh, full hop back air. Ledge guards with uh, reverse nair. I would have been greedy. I would have gone for a dark dive in that, in that uh, after that get up. Meme gunner still hanging in there. Okay, doesn't quite make it back to stage. Raycom at 20% versus meme gunner's final stock. Already taking more damage than that. Ray loves his retreating fares, and they work. There's another one of those uh, grenades into grabs. Man, in Smash 4, we could even charge the move. We could choose how far it went. This is the nerfed version. Raycom makes it back to stage, eats an up air. Me Gunner with a uh, a Randy up smash and a down smash from Raycom ends the match. We will have uh, one stock of Raycom versus all three stocks from MM Leo. Well, all the gunners will get to play. Ray, Ray brought it back. It's still a very tall order to actually win, but... Uh, bringing it from where it was to this close is a feat. My moon will hover menacingly over Ganon. I don't know who MM Leo is. Uh, well, he's like MK Leo, except like pitch shifted. He's, he's like a little, a little bit lower. By uh, by by two two letters, two semitones. Now, M.M. Leo is a me gunner of some renown who is a, a frequent chatter in the me gunner discord. I 
I think he has the uh, I think he has the role for me gunners, which have uh, who have uh, achieved some level of tournament success. I don't know what exactly his tournament results are, but uh, I understand he has them. There he is. Rockin'... Is that Star Force Mega Man? I considered using the, uh, the Mega Man Battle Network skin for a me gunner. Which I'm happy is in the game, because I'm a big Battle, ne Battle Network fan. But I don't think anyone would recognize it. I am happy that uh, Bomberman got a skin in the game, even if it's not on uh, not on me, Gunner. I was using Bomberman for my Gunner all the way and all the way back in Smash Four. Oh, yeah. So in addition to we used to be able to charge grenade. Gunner was nerfed pretty substantially in the patch that uh, universally lowered projectile damage on shields. As you can probably imagine, shield breaks used to be a fairly common occurrence with Gunner. It was a little nutty before the nerf. Calm once again banning Kalos Battlefield PS2. Leo picking Town City. Raycalm the Ganon versus MM Leo the Me Gunner. Raycalm with one stock remaining. Can he do it? Boy, this would be quite a victory for the Ganons if so. That's a tall order though. Ooh, we have a Laser Blaze user. Laser Blaze not being bad. Chip damage is never bad. It is a uh, generally considered outclassed by the other two uh, neutral specials. The stuns, like Falco's laser, fires a little bit faster, and is transcendent, which is always useful. Using it to uh, effectively force an approach. Ooh. A nice F smash from Ray already takes a stock off of Leo. Ganon is already over 100%, though. Ooh, Stealth Burst! Oh, hey, we got another Stealth Burst user. And that ends it. That was a one for one. Final score is zero to two. Ray did great. Ray, Ray very nearly brought that back. That was way closer than it should have been, given the start of the crew battle. What did he take? He must have... He started with, a, like, 10? So he took 8. Raycom took 8 stocks. Well, there's our final score. As always, happy to stream. I don't know how many more of these uh, JMUs we have left, given that uh, interest in the in the game and the communities is uh, dying out a little bit. We'll see. Maybe I'll do another one for Ganon Cord or uh, Brawler Cord. Thank you guys for joining. 
Uh, if you want to hang out, if you want to come back in a couple hours, me and Jack are planning to stream some more Tomb Raider, which we are almost in the mid we're almost at the end of. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you guys later.